Hi everyone. So let's see how we can read the file and write the file. So till now we have created one directory object. But now in this video we are going to deal with the file object. So let's create one file object. And I'm just going to create a variable name f. And we'll create a new file object. Here I can give like absolute path where I want to create a, my directory or a file inside the directory. So I am already in a F drive test folder. Let's say here we want to create my file.txt. So I can use like slash let's say my file.txt. Okay. Let's write a couple of statement. So write as a string sync and we are going to write let's say hello world dot okay and let me just run it so nothing has been printed but we can go here and we can check so it has created my file.txt and it has written hello world dot now let's say if I want to find or if I want to read that particular file let me just comment this part and same code we are going to use but instead of writing we are going to use read as a string sync and let me just print it okay let's just run so now you can see it has read this particular file hello world dot now along with the read string as a sync or write string as a string there are number of options are available so you can explore yourself all other options like uh, you want to copy you want to open you want to find the length of the file you want to extract uh, what is the absolute path of that particular file when that particular file last modified you want to read it line by line so you can use a read as a line so this way you can go ahead and explore yeah, let's try for let's say delete sync so if you want to delete that particular file you can just uh, use this f dot uh, delete sync so let me just run it it has read this particular file because uh, first we have read this and we have printed and after that we have deleted so let me just go to that particular place so now you can see there is no file my file dot txt exists okay so this is how the very basic and a very layman term introduction to how file can be read in a dart programming language and how we can write into file so it's a very simple and a layman way i have explained you you can explore more option corresponding to this directory class and a file class so i hope you enjoy listening this video and see you into next video